Alrighty guys, Milky Soda here, and we're going to be jumping into part 8. Let's go! <laughs> you can mock me now, guys. I know, that was cringy. Um, what the hell was I doing? I know I got what I wanted, which was the Night Enchanter. It's so bad I don't remember. How do you know they won't attack here? Dark spawn don't think. They flow. They burst through stone, cut with their bloody hands, and they never stop. That Corypheus, he's got the face, he's got the corruption. But he's no dark spawn. He's a thinker. He ain't interested in a fair fight. So if we build it right, he's not coming. You know? Yeah, you're cool, dude. I like your strategic thinking. He doesn't like it. Oh, I love this game so much. There's Varric. Hey, Varric! No, I'm not talking to you. Need something? Carry on. No. Not a damn thing. Let's go. I'm saving up the judgment stuff so we can do uh, more than one. I think we only have two. happening over here nothing that's what <laughs> this is happening out me here all right now I remember we're gonna go do uh, we're gonna go talk to Hawk well, we did talk to Hawk but we are going to um, go find her friend in Crestwood we should see if there's anything in here yeah drawing out the red Templars we have the name of the Red Templar Lieutenant who was dealing with Millefant and the Freeman. Carol? He? <laughs> Carol. <laughs> he is expected to be at the Lion's Pavilion two days from now. Do what is necessary to stop him, but for my sake, make it quick. I knew him once a long time ago. Oh, that makes me sad for you, Golden. He's still, he's cool and such a great friend. q and uh -huh. His ear is hurting a little bit. There you go. Still hurting, but a little less. A bundles of documents at least 50 pages thick explains the trade agreement the Inquisition has entered with the merchant princes of Antiva. Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor, I am more than satisfied with the uh, agreement we've reached with the merchant's princess. Here is a duplicate if you wish to review it. I will put it aside three days and two dozen candles. Oh, because it's that. Okay, it's a long read. Oh, God. That's going to stay on my desk and I'm going to pretend it's not there. Okay, we're going to do Dorian's request. Now that you're in charge, there's something I thought I'd bring up. There are Venatory mages out there lurking in the wilderness. <sighs> this comes as no surprise to you, since you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of Corypheus's minions. <laughs> but these particular Venatori have additional significances to myself. For one, I know them personally. I would call them friends, except that would imply I didn't want them dead, which I do. <laughs> Since I have no idea of whether they might be, thanks to an investigation I began before coming south, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down. At which point they would sneer something at you into Venter, and you would be forced to kill them. Which makes everyone happy! <laughs> you for eliminating a potential threat and me for eliminating men and women too stupid and short-sighted to be permitted to continue to breathe <laughs> I love Dorian so much they would be less happy but who cares about them up to you my lady inquisitor Dorian <laughs> I fucking love him <laughs> alright um let us look into this carefully and quietly. We do not wish to alert the Venatori to our awareness of their existence. I'm pretty sure they already know we they we know of them. Have former Templars skilled at hunting mages. I can send and follow Dorian's lead. What can you do, Josephine? Ah, my poor ear. It's burning. If there are Venatori out there, 
They'll show their faces. Someone has seen them and can loosen their- I'm not paying anyone a lick of cents. Let's see no. What we have. They ain't getting a fucking shilling from me, guys. Fuck that. <laughs> this is my loot. And I'll make it clear. <laughs> Gather coin. Gain Ozomar's friendship. The hacked rider. There's more over here. But let's gain the friendship. I believe this will be a DLC that we want. We have received a message from Ozamar, knowing an ancient darkspawn threat, Thetis, King Belen. <laughs> I chose him because, uh, reasons. He's a, he's a better king than the other one, even though he's radical. Uh, officially declared his support for the Inquisition! Ah! This is why I chose him in the first game. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was a different reasons. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I would advise seeing a delegation to Ozamar as soon as possible. Yeah, Inquisitor. let's go. Let's go! Alright, we're gonna leave the hack rider to Liliana. The Serpent of Navara. Navara? Navara, that's it. That sounds right. The Inquisition agents have uncovered a potential problem in the nation of Navara. A Tevinter mage by the name of Verilus. They have such weird... The next game's gonna be a pain in my ass, because I'm not gonna be able to pronounce a damn thing. Um, has recently been noted in the company of King Marcus. And rumors comment on how strange it is for a new advisor to be so closely heated. There is evidence to indicate Verlis is uh, a member of the Notori. How the Nevarian king <laughs> under their sway would give a cult a great deal of power and hinder the Inquisition's ability to operate in the north. Wait for his advisor to leave and send forces to Am- Yeah. To work? I'm up for it. Yep. Go for it. I like your way of doing it. Stop the word between Navarra and Tevinter. Well, shit. We'll do that one next, if I remember. <laughs> if I remember, guys. Alright, now I gotta remember... Where we're going is Crestwood. Where the fuck is Crestwood? Is this Crestwood? Find the warden. Yep. Alright! Story time! Huck has revealed that Corypheus can influence the minds of the Grey Warden. If the Darkspawn brings them under his sway, he'll command a legion of highly skilled warriors. The Inquisition must hunt down Hawk's Grey Warden ally hiding in Crestwood to learn about the other Warden's plans. No one has traveled to or from Crestwood since the breach, and Liliana will send her fastest agents to discover what disasters had rendered it silent. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Fuck yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. Alright, a hastily scrawled note received by the messenger bird. Inquisitor, Huck's word and friend is somewhere here. Disappeared uh, before we could talk to him. He's good. Be careful on the road. Lots of undead. People here need our help. Explaining more once you get here. Oh, mm-hmm. Harding. <laughs> Sorry. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. Mm. We've got trouble ahead. If you're on edge, I should alert the entire Inquisition. Or increase my hazard pay. That's an option. Are things that bad? Oh, shit. <laughs> So beautiful. Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. I wish we could get better acquainted, Harding, when the dead aren't rising around us, perhaps. The world would crumble to dust before you ran out of ills to fight. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Make her knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. If Harding's available to romance in the next game, I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it! Alright, guys. There's only two camps here? Oh, wait. You're gonna yell at me? No? Alright. Oh, <gasps> Elfru! Wow. We're going. Well, I'm off to bed. Have fun with the dragons. I, I will. 
Have a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for dropping by, Alex. <laughs> I'm going in the wrong direction. At least we got some metal fruit out of boop 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 out of it. Out of it. Oh dear. Oh dear. There must be a way to get to the rift in the lake. Does that oh, rift mean water is pouring into the fade right now? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I should have sold some shit, but I didn't. So we're gonna go this way. Defeat Carol, a puppet master. <laughs> Dude, we're not even there. Oh, it's the undead. Mm. Relaxing. Oh, you're still alive. Ooh, I shouldn't have brought black wall. Whatever. <laughs> Great Warden! The Great Wardens, thank you for your aid, Inquisitor. Will you stay to fight the undead here? My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. What are you doing? Passed through here, but the villagers knew nothing. They have troubles enough. What have you been told about this rogue warden? Warden Commander Clarell ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. I hope Sir Stroud comes with us peacefully. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. Farewell. Farewell. Sir, are you sure we can't help the village? Our orders are clear. If we can't find Warden Stroud, we return to the commander with all haste. Still don't be alright. Yeah, it's almost like you're doing the wrong thing! None of those wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the order. I didn't want to say much in case they were, but I think you're right. I hope Hawk's warden friend has answers for us. <laughs> I'm about to piss this girl off. Joining the Grey Wardens is not a good idea. <laughs> no, it's not. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes, the Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. You actually want that? I mean, they're heroes, but fighting that stuff all the time. Grey Warden or no, the world needs more people with your courage. I can use Solus, and I know he likes that. And I could. I know if I use Solus, she'll come over. Find another way to help people. The wardens have problems of their own right now. Yes, Your Worship. I'm sure there's something else I can do to help. Ah, oh, damn it. I swear I'll avoid the wardens, Inquisitor. Thank you for the warning. Damn it! Okay. We got her. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. We got Janna. Got anything I can loot there, Janna? Okay, nope. Nope, you don't. You could've, but you don't. All right. Well, this looks like a shit show and a half. Don't look like any lo Yes, loot! <laughs> we'll see what it is. Hopefully it's something good. No, it, it's herbs. It was nothing I care for. Nothing I immediately care for, anyways. Undead by the gates. Ugh, Ready fine. When you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy looks like he's poisoned. I should probably help him. I don't think you have. How many don't think 
no one this time. Did you see? The corpses are coming from where old Crestwood used to be. The amount of people we lost back during the fight. Oh shit. Alright, we're in Crestwood. I can sell some stuff too. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Waste my time there, bud. Can I even open this? Why doesn't Judith live in the village mm. while this is going on? Make her if something happens. Are you looking for someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safer? Likes her space, she says. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Good day to you. And to you. What is this? Are the corpses still out there? <laughs> no, just me, sorry. <laughs> I guess they're technically still out here. Just... I thought there was like something back here. Yeah, there was. A weird funny sight with a man. Just cheese. With cheese. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we need to go talk to the mayor, I do believe. Please. Let's go so the mayor could use your assistance. I... Is finished. The sooner I get away, the better off we'll be. Oh she's saying that. I was like, who the fuck is saying that? Fair hide. Crestwood is finished. Okay. The sooner I get away. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, I was like really confused. The Inquisitor, oh, Mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village, at your service, despite everything. Are you here to stop the undead? We are, right? We're not just going to leave them. Course. The undead are appearing because of a rift in the Fade. How can I get to it? The light in the lake? It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Darkspawn flooded it ten years ago during the Blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that Fade Rift. Drain it? There must be some other way. Your people are frightened, and they're tired. Let us help. You'd have yeah. to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. Can't ask you to risk your life. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be Trust fine. Trust me, I fought worse than bandits in <laughs> the undead. Then? Then I have no choice. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Until later. Of course. He's so sus. Alright. You, Jenna? How'd you... How'd she get all the way over here? Okay. The maker's bald. <laughs> Sorry. Sees light and goes toward you wondrous inquisitor. I am Sister Born. Does the mayor finally plan to drain the lake? 
I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the Maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Fair enough. Fair enough. Have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. There will be endless time to mourn. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. What do you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. Until later. Andraste guide you. Okay. No, it's not because he's a a bad person at all. No, no. Nope. Because it's definitely not suspicious. Oh shit! Yeah, take this. Hell yeah! Superior tower. Sorry, for some reason I thought I saw something in there even though I I know I didn't. Ooh, loot. This is why I check. This is why I check. Move. <clears throat> so how in Andraste's green earth am I going to get past this? Because I need to go this way. I think I need to go around. Alright, we need to go this way. Quite possibly. I don't know, I get confused here. <laughs> Maps are not my strongest suit. Yeah, bye. Okay, yeah, I think Crestwood was kind of a detour. Mm. Well, whatever. Where I'm going the longest and god awful way I can. Oh, we'll see. What's happening here? Look at all the undead and. That looks like my men. Listen here, you little shits. Die! Fire so nice. Fire go boom. <laughs> Alright. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Yeah. I'm not gonna try for that loot. I'm not that greedy. Oh, that looks really cool. Is this uh, the fucking Crestwood? Was there a way around? <sighs> well, more you know. What is this? Ah, it's iron! Can I? <laughs> Can I? No. Damn it. It's a fucking game. Oh, there's fall damage. Why'd I do that? Ugh. I always forget. So there's- okay. I didn't actually realize there's a way over here as well. God, what is- Nope, that guy's bad! That guy's bad! Really love it if you help me, guys! Can you get a fade stat, man? <laughs> oh, that's so sad looking. I ran into that. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna loot this. That's what I'm gonna do now. Don't die, guys. I, I have faith in you. Friendship is the way. You guys 
not even noticing me. <laughs> I think they're the best. There you go, little shit. I'm so cool. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what all we can get from here. Ooh, this is actually kind of really cool looking. Kind of hoping I'd find something cooler, but we go sell fruits nice to me. This very pretty area. I do love it. Oh, I love it a lot. Let's go ahead and go in this area right up here, which I suspect is our. Uh... Ah, it looks like it's it. Okay, well, taking this. It's mine now. Just chasing these poor nugs out. <laughs> Book you guys. Um, because I couldn't go up this way. Damn it! There was a path. Well, you know what? I found some cool stuff. I'm not gonna regret it. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 Hey guys, there's someone uh, a little dead right there. Definitely a little, little, little uh, crispy looking. It's almost like they died. <laughs> They're taking a forever nap. Okay. Old Market Road. Nowhere to sell, apparently. And it looks like we're gonna go up. <gasps> There's a place over here to claim, so we're gonna do this real fast. The bandits are just across the way, so I can keep an eye on those bastards. I managed to take back some of the supplies I stole from the traveling merchants. They did even see it coming. Um, but I'm not afraid. If they want to fight, they can come and get me. Okay, good for you. I would like to claim this, though. A wooden facade has erected in the mouth of this cave, presumably to shield any occupants from the weather. Okay. Am I here then? Well, I don't know. We're gonna go into the cave. Nice little area here. Unnatural things walk in the night. It's the maker punishing a sinful world. That's what I say. Oh fuck, I didn't even notice her. <laughs> like, what the hell? This is mine. Oh, obsidian. I will fight for this. Like, you fucking will deal with it. More obsidian! Oh, there was an easier way. <laughs> Well, you know what, guys? I never choose the easier way. I'm pretty sure that's obvious with my gaming style. Those are old spider carcasses. I do not want the iron. What is this? Okay, well, I guess we'll loot whatever they do have. 
It's not like they're struggling. No, they're not. Bloodstone! Sorry. <laughs> Bloodstone! <laughs> God, the How did you find it? I looked. Now you sound like coal. This world is full of wonders for those who seek them. <laughs> I like that. I looked. <laughs> He's such a little shit, not giving like actual the answers that people are looking for. He knows. He knows what he meant. He chose to not. Can I break this? No. Man, it's like we're following the yellow book road. But red and red Templars. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Green eyes says they're demonified, right? From what we've learned. I'm gonna loot it. I'm not gonna loot it. I'll be nice and just leave it there for itself. Oh my gosh. I'm just dying. I know it's another one. Don't worry. I know. I just, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. There we go. Let's go back. I guess up where I was. I w this game raised questions where I would wonder if we see, you know, the blighted lyrium here, but if it would cause un unblighted lyrium if it would just poke out of the ground i i wouldn't think so since it's something the drawers have to do and you know deal with and stuff nah, i don't fucking want iron a weird ass noise oh i think there's a dragon here as well actually oh shit we're here Oh no, Witter. Oh no, Witter, I'm stealing from you. When did you kill yourself? And why do I think you did it shortly after this happened? Oh my god. No! Leave me alone! Keep on the move, keep on the move, keep on the move. get myrtled oh god one of him yeah of course you were gonna come for me oh I love that like firewall is nice but it's just not the same as throwing a fireball So it's always nice and needed. I think there was only two? Oh, damn it. What is this? Naturalist. Uh, outside. Oh, she's here. We can run to her real fast, actually. Since she's literally just right over here. Oh, fuck. We want to loot that. We definitely want to loot this. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Hopefully they're not gonna try to fight a Druffalo. Those are not worth it. They're murderous little shits. Hello, Judith. In the wyvern, nothing here is safe. But I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. There's a wyvern causing trouble. It used to hunt in the mountains, didn't bother anyone but the bandits. <laughs> Lately, the beast got it in his head to come down here. It almost crippled Gaul's little boy. 
best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. Do you farm out there? The name's Judith. I farm and I mend things for the village and people passing through. I did a fair trade with traveling merchants before the undead started attacking. And those bandits. Not to mention that dragon. You live here on purpose. Oh, you know, the fishing's grand. <laughs> what do you know about the dragon? She moved in among them. The guards tried to run her off, but she snapped one's head off and she flew away. Poor Hamald. At least it was quick. Since we should then, totally kill her. Three horses, five goats, and two cats. We're gonna do it. If Not right now. It, there's a man in the village concerned about you. <laughs> that must be Gould. Fretful as ever. I'm glad he stayed in Crestwood. He's fast as you please with a loom, but terrible with a sword. That's great. Until later. Be safe. Ah, Judith. You're so nice. I hope you don't die. Alright, so we talked to her. There's a dragon. We'll do that later. It will be done. For now, we're gonna go on on a merry little way to finding the warden. Look at all this undead! Highwaymen, just kidding. We're gonna ignore them. The guy, <laughs> Whittle's dead anyway, so... Not like anyone... Is this gonna take me where I need it to take me? Oh god! Why did I do that? It's fine, everything's fine, Lynn. Just can't take a deep fucking breath. I thought that was gonna like, take me to the dragon. That's why I panicked. I was like, oh god, I can't... I don't think I'm ready for that. I'm at level 11. A pretty Rin! A pretty Rin! Okay, I think we're getting close to the guy. Um... I feel like... Yeah! There we go! Hulk's contact with the warden should be in that cave. Rum rum not rave. Yes, I agree. And there's Hulk! <laughs> ah. I just got here myself. My contact with the warden should be at the back of the cave. Beefy woman. I saw other wardens. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men. They've been given bad orders. I agree, Hawk. Let's go, Boo. Oh, Obsidian! Obsidian! Where's that? That tune is from something, and I have no clue where. This it? Oh, hey. Banner of the Blind Man marks this cave as an outpost for the blind men. Notorious smugglers who are known to sell slaves to Devender. We need to kill them! It's possible that the Grey Wardens asked them politely to leave so that he could use their hideout. Otherwise, the bloodstains on the walls suggest other ways. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I walk like such a big buff man. <laughs> I'm hot shit. I'm wearing a warden outfit. Ooh. I'm probably gonna get attacked. Stroud, dude. <laughs> it's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. <laughs> it's okay. I understand the confusion. My name is Stroud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. <laughs> Stroud is in uh, Dragon Age 2. If you don't have Alistair or Loghain as uh, the Warden, you can have, you'll, you'll meet Stroud in the second game. And um, if you are a female, or you know, if you choose a wizard, mage, whatever, Bethany dies, and then you get the brother. And the brother, oh, I think that Bethany can also live, but go to the Wardens. I don't know. One of the siblings will die no matter what you choose. But you, you meet Stroud in that game. I could use another ally. Well, help me, help me. Help Most me. of your wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think that one might have something to do with the other? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. 
But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. I recall that being a bad thing. But I don't recall you telling me about all this. It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. Starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? Is our greatest fear. And then they do something desperate. Which is, of course, what Corypheus wants. <laughs> is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall. <laughs> Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a Magister, as well as a Darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. So the Wardens think they're dying and have stopped thinking clearly. That won't go well. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. Dog froze on my face. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's go. <laughs> thought... Okay, thought that was over. Hmm. Can I talk to you, actually, more? We should get to the ritual tower in the Western Approach yeah, as soon I as do. possible, your worship. I agree, I agree. Let's talk, though. Hmm. Clarell's the warden commander, right? What's she like? She was a good warden. Once. Among those King Kaelin reached out to before the Blight. She always resented missing the chance to help. When the calling came, Clarell stopped listening to the rest of us. Only magic could solve this problem, she said. Do you think Corypheus is using the calling to control her? It's hard to say. I have heard the whispers of the calling myself, but it's only noise, no words, certainly no commands. Either way, the guilt is hers. She's Warden Commander. She should bow to no one's word but Weishaupt's. What's it like, being a Warden? I can't even imagine. It's been a long time since I was anything else. It becomes your life, searching out Darkspawn, killing them, Ensuring no one ever knows how close they are. Corypheus was in a warden prison, right? So you must know something about him. I know little, and that much only because of my relative seniority. Most wardens have never heard of him. 
When I suggested Corypheus might have something to do with the calling, the Warden Mages turned on me. I trained some of those Wardens myself. If I knew any more of Corypheus, I would share it, Your Worship. We'll talk later. Okay. Okay, let's go out here then. Ah! Did anything respawn? <laughs> Obsidian to be more specific. Okay, is there any, any talking out here? I heard what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers in the western approach. Though I fear what those answers will be. I've seen too much blood magic to ever trust where it leads. Okay. Let's go. All right. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys will be here for the next one. Bye!